Hey guys, it's Mr. Danish. Uh, I'll show you uh, how to use the map editor, um, or well, just the basics. And um, yeah, so it's much easier to uh, to follow my uh, future videos. And uh, yeah, um, the map tab <laughs> is um, well not very useful in my opinion. Um, you choose what size of map you want, and then you generate it. Um, and you can choose the default terrain um, like by uh, clicking on this one and um, generate it. Uh, this might be useful if you're going to make an island map, but still not very often. That's relevant. Um, random map, you choose a style of map and uh, you choose the size and you generate it. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, let's go back. Okay, moving on. The terrain map uh, a tab. The terrain tab is um, yeah quite useful. You can use it to make all sorts of uh, landscapes. See, I made all this stuff from uh, the terrains uh, tab and also a little from the units tab. But never mind. Um, the terrains tab is very important, and um, yeah, you should really uh, use it a lot. And um, and um, mix it so it's not like you make a forest like uh, this and you think oh it's a pretty forest and then oh we need a road we'll just cut right through it you can't even see it but it's it's there let's make it bigger then you can see it better yeah like this it's not very pretty if you ask me then I, I would rather go with this one um, where you like randomly plant them uh, but before you do that you should make some terrain mixing like let's say um, like this and a little of this and some dirt I like dirt too um, like whoops uh, that wasn't pretty and you should mix it and probably some leaves as well if it's going to be a forest but then you do like this and then some trees all over the place uh, so it's not just a big block um, yes and uh, map copy it's a little um, it's a little um, hard to explain but it's basically where you copy what you've made you choose the area and you click copy selected area and then it will uh, copy and paste uh, that area you chose but uh, it's as you can see it's a little bugged um, because when you do that uh, with trees it's um, yeah only going to be one type of trees but if you're really patient and you really want it to look the same more or less you could go uh, to the units tab and take the rotate tool and then click on each tree and uh, that that will change uh, the look of it but that's again that's a lot of work and it's yeah, then it's quicker to do it all over again, in my opinion. But it's your choice. Um, erase tool, it's um, not very useful. Um, you can uh, erase buildings and units, and uh, yeah, well, it's I don't use it very frequently. It's it's not very often. It's it's quite actually it's a little stupid they added it in this section it should be in the unit section um, yeah now mind moving on the players tab um, that's uh, very useful you can uh, choose how many players you want in, uh, in your game I would like three and uh, you could um, go uh, choose what player you want to customize and uh, let's take player one that's us we want to start with around 100 food and 500 wood and uh, 50 stone and no gold and uh, we want a high population limit uh, let's say 200 so we can build a massive army uh, it won't work if you take 2000 for instance um, that's my experience uh, so 200 is x max and you can choose color uh, I usually play as green cause yeah 
Yellow confuses me because of gold and blue does as well because of the water and red is evil and <laughs> cyan that's ugly, purple that's gay, grey that's uh, boring, orange. I, I actually like orange but still green for the win. Okay, now mind. Uh, you can choose um, what age to uh, start in and uh, let's say we start in feudal age and you can choose uh, the player type uh, whether it should be um, uh, possible for a human to play or whether it should be a computer but let's take player one as a as, um, human player and uh, Britain's yes uh, that's you can choose what civilization you want here let's say Britain's that they're fine and uh, tribe name um, Mr. Danish uh, that's the name uh, you could like uh, for well let's say uh, if you make a campaign with King Sancho you can make uh, King Sancho and then make players uh, the player tune uh, his name could be uh, uh, Royal Navy of uh, King Sancho or something like that so you can make them play together all in all but that's up to you um, yeah personality um, this is uh, a little more advanced uh, you can download artificial intelligence also known as uh, AI and uh, they will be able to um, oh, when you install them in in your um, in the game folders file folders um, you can uh, access uh, them uh, here and uh, th they are quite useful if you uh, uh, depending on what AI you download, of course. But if you want to make a cutscene, there's a uh, I know an uh, AI uh, that will um, make uh, this player's uh, unit uh, units not move unless you command them. Uh, but uh, I will teach uh, in another video how to uh, to install it and uh, download it and um, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, you can set the settings for the other players as well and um, yeah let's move on ah the units tab uh, that's probably one of the most important ones um, you have these four tabs under the units tab uh, and uh, the units tab it, it's quite self-explanatory all this stuff um, it's just a list of all the uh, units that's uh, uh, that's in the game so you can um, Let's say we want some uh, guards for this um, for this um, passage. Some robbers, perhaps. Uh, let's say we need uh, and here you can choose um, what player they should belong to. We had it on uh, player two from the beginning, so we'll just stick to it. So we could do it like this, and then use the rotate tool to make them face uh, the right way whoops yeah. um, uh, by clicking right uh, when using uh, uh, the right uh, mouse button uh, when you uh, use the rotate tool it uh, makes them um, go counterclockwise and uh, yeah R uh, left that's uh, yeah the other way around and um, yeah okay uh, then there's the buildings tab um, it's the same just with buildings uh, that's quite self-explanatory then there's heroes that's uh, all the special units from uh, that you meet in the campaigns um, yeah they are usual, us yeah, they are us usual uh, yeah, I can't say it uh, usually uh, a little stronger and uh, they sometimes have a little uh, portrait and uh, yeah uh, you can use those in your campaigns as well if you want to